Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, we are continuing our React.js e-commerce series. And now guys, in this video, we are going to learn add to cart option, okay? So guys, when you click this button add to cart, that time our product with this quantity with the logged in user data should get and inserted in our table. So guys, let's get started. So first, let's move to this add to cart button. And yep, guys, let's move below. And here is our add to cart button. And now guys over here, let's use on click function on click open and close curly brace. We will where we will tell submit add to cart. Okay. So let's copy this and create a function. So above this loading, I'm going to create a function. So const is equal to open and close arrow function. Now guys, you need to get all the data. So before that, let's pass this event, which will be event dot prevent default function. So which will help not to load the page. Okay. And now guys, let's use one variable const data is equal to open and close curly brace where we are going to take product underscore ID colon your product ID. So as simple guys, we are already taking the data of products, for example, product name, product image. So same way we are going to take the data of product ID. So let's pass that product dot ID done. Let's give product quantity colon your quantity data. So which you have assigned over here. So so let's copy this quantity and send all set guys. Now let's write a API guys. So Axios dot we are going to use post method. Then a response of arrow function. So let's create the API guys. So use a back tick and give forward slash API forward slash add to cart okay just give comma your variable data so pass that done now let's write a condition if your response dot data dot status if it is triple equal to 201 which means it is created then you can show a message using swell that is sweet alert now else if if there is something condition like 409 okay so this 409 will tell like swell the data is already presented okay that is already inside the database so let's copy this once again, this message and print that done. And now guys, let's see for the 4041. And this will be your 401 error. We'll tell error. 401 is unauthorized. So we will see that how to code about that. And this warning message we are going to give. Warning. Save it. So guys, now let's get back to our Laravel application and create an API to add our product to cart. So let's get back. So inside our Laravel application, guys, let's create a route colon colon with the post method where you will tell the API. So the API which we have created is add to cart. Let's copy this and get back where give comma and create a controller guys that will be a cart controller okay colon colon class comma add the add to cart function perfect so now guys we need to create a controller and database for this also so right now we don't have let's comment this and start with the creation so first step guys let's create a database for our cart so php artisan make colon migration where create underscore 
cards table okay hit enter created migration so let's go to our database migration where last table our cards table guys perfect so now inside this we are going to create three fields so dollar table of string function where inside this we are going to keep user underscore id copy and paste the second will be product id the third will be product quantity okay and this is going to be integer and the above also integer product id all set guys and now let's migrate this table so php artisan migrate hit enter perfect it's migrated guys let's see our database so let's click on this react ecom you can find that cards table perfect so now let's get back to a laravel application create a model so php artisan make colon model where i want cards okay cart model hit enter model created successfully let's go inside app model where you can find cart.php perfect so define the protected dollar table is equal to inside single quotes you are going to assign the table name so my table name you can find that carts so let's paste that and the fields that will be fillable is equal to inside array we'll tell user underscore id and the product id and product quantity close this and now create a controller php artisan make colon controller will tell cart controller so where we are going to create inside api folder so let me just show you the path inside controller i have a api folder inside this api folder i am going to create cart controller so let's give api forward slash controller okay cart controller that is hit enter you can find that cart controller is created done guys and now let's get back to our api.php file where we have created the route perfect so let's copy this function name and create a function public function where add to cart function okay and now guys let's start the code to insert the data so first we are going to take all the request so dollar request so first step guys we have to check the user is authenticated or not so use the if else condition if user is authenticated then you will be in else he will be out so to check the authenticated of sanctum so api so you just need to use san ctum sanctum so we are using laravel 8 guys and the sanctum package where you can tell check function okay and here if the user is not authenticated return and response in a json format where we will tell the status for not one copy and paste and this will be the message login to add to cart okay if it is success then you will be working inside this so guys let's see the output once this will be like 201 and here you can tell i am in cart okay so let's test guys once let's get back open your console google developer tool move to console so refresh once guys and now let's try i'm going to give two 
add to cart so you can find internal server let's move to network okay here cart controller does not exist so target class let's import that guys api.php import this class first so here is our cart controller you can find it let's get back and now let's try once again add to cart where you can see login to add to cart okay so guys let me just log in funda at gmail.com let's click to login okay so logged in successfully perfect let's go to collections buy my product and now let's clear this cache guys and click add to cart success i am in cart perfect so we are getting the output till here which we were in the cart controller so i am in cart after logging in so authentication check is done okay and now guys let's write the code to insert this product id and the quantity let's get back so first step dollar product id is equal to dollar request of your product underscore id so from where are you getting this product id let's go to react app over here product id and product quantity you are getting okay so this data you will fetch over here so product quantity and same thing product quantity and we need the user id also guys so let's get the user underscore id is equal to where a sim authentication of sanctum where user function of id so guys now let's check the product exist or not first else you are going to show that product does not exist so for that let's say i am in cart and let's create a variable dollar product check is equal to your product model colon colon where first id comma the product id guys so let's take this send it over here and now take this and send if it is true obviously it is going to come in else you are going to show let's copy this and show over here and we'll tell this 404 message over here like product not found so this case comes only when someone tries to console and tries to change the product id so that time you will find this so guys you need to set this also 404 at this so let's copy and paste and make 404 and show the error guys so over here you can give that warning done and yep let's get back now check a condition if your cart model so cart colon colon where find again where authenticated user exists so first you are going to find the product id so let's go to our cards table so inside my cards table this product id comma dollar product id you are going to find that and another one that is your user id copy this user id send comma and then your user id guys so authenticated user id so that user's product id 
with its if it exists means then you are going in else you will insert the data so guys now let's copy this and push inside this else condition and inside this if condition you can give that is your 409 error guys so this 409 means it's already inserted so for example like we'll tell already added to cart okay so we'll take and show the product name also so you can just utilize this product check of name and give dot your space and now here is the else condition where we are going to insert the data so let's tell cart item okay is equal to new cart cart item of user underscore id is equal to your user id let's take this cv and next is your product id copy this product id and next one was quantity qty let's take that product id and product quantity and save the data guys save function perfect change the message over here add it to cart save and now guys let's test it so let's get back right now our product i mean a cart table is empty let's refresh clear all the caches guys from here network and let's increment to 2 and click add to cart so success added to cart okay and let's see in our database perfect so user id 1 and the product id and quantity so if you want to confirm your user id you can just move here user table funda at gmail.com id is one guys okay so that's taking the correct id over here done guys let's see another table let's go to mobile another product and let's select this samsung and i am going to make this quantity to three add to cart add it to cart perfect and let's try to add this product again okay click add to cart you can see warning samsung already added to cart so guys instead of warning let's keep it success only but we will show the message let's get back 409 is already added to cart guys so let me just give a comment already added to cart option so instead of warning you can just give success itself or else you can use your other method also like alertify many success message so are there okay so guys now we have successfully completed that how to build a add to cart in our react.js hooks so let me just show you the data is added or not perfect so it's added so guys in this video that's it let's continue next video to show our cart data so all the cart list we are going to make so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share